Welcome to African Gardening. And today uh, we're going to be talking about another very, very destructive pest of horticultural fruit trees, of uh, flowers, ornamental plants, any kind of plants. This pest, they are notorious for being resistant to many uh, chemical pesticides as well as organic pesticides and these are white flies white flies they are not related to the normal house fly they are more related to aphids and mealybugs they are sucking and piercing insects very very tiny and they do very very uh, serious damage uh, to the leaves of plants. So basically, white flies, they suck up the chlorophyll from the back of the leaves. White flies produce honeydew. This honeydew uh, causes sooty mold. Sooty mold is a fungal infection and uh, it's very easy to identify. Uh, you will see that the leaves uh, of your plants all of a sudden uh, they have black patches. They have black patches uh, and that is sooty mold. It's a fungal uh, disease that will ultimately, you know, damage the health of your plant and sometimes it destroys uh, the plants. The next thing we will talk about is how do we identify white flies? There are so many ways to identify them. You can identify them physically by seeing, I mean, when you see them, and also you can identify them by the symptoms so two symptoms of white flies is chlorosis as you can see on the screen uh, that means uh, the green part of uh, the leaves is start showing yellow patches so that is chlorosis and the yellow patches uh, is caused when the white flies suck the chlorophyll out of the leaves so the next symptom that allows you to know the presence of uh, white flies is the sooty mold. Uh, and as you can see on the screen, you can see that uh, the leaves that are supposed to be green, they are now covered in black patches. So like I said, sooty mold is a fungal uh, uh, disease. So let's go now and look at a guava tree here that has been infected uh, with uh, white flies. And I'm going to show you how you can identify uh, the white flies. It's quite easy to identify the white flies. Uh, number one, they only attack new leaves. So you won't find them on older leaves. You'll find them on new leaves that has a whole lot of chlorophyll. And uh, as you move closer, you can see them on the surface of the leaves. There are a whole lot of them behind the leaves. And once you shake the leaves, they'll fly off. Can see them so those are the white flies those are the white flies you can see them flying so those are the white flies look at that look at that see you have the eggs huh those are the white flies so these are the white flies you can see them behind the leaves right now look at them yeah if you look closely you see the adults the white you can also see the names, the different color, the yellow, but you can see them there. See the adults and the names, the bigger ones and the adults. Those tiny dots you're seeing there, those are the eggs. Those are the eggs. And uh, the female white fly lays about 400 eggs in a week. So those tiny dots. They're the eggs. So you can see them. So they're very, very destructive. You can see the eggs. Yeah. So the yellow, the tiny yellow objects, they are the eggs. Now that you've seen how to identify white flies. 
The next thing we're going to talk about is how do we get rid of them? So there are two ways to get rid of white flies. Uh, the natural means and chemical pesticides. Those are the two effective methods. So let's talk about the natural means. Uh, so the natural means of getting rid of uh, white flies is by you having predatory insects in your environment. Predatory insects are insects that eat other insects. So for white flies, the predatory insects that eat white flies are ladybugs, dragonflies, some, flower, uh, some types of spiders, as well as hummingbirds. So when you have this, then you might find out, or you may be lucky that this predatory insect that I've mentioned, uh, their population is high enough to get rid of all the white flies. But this is not always the case because in many places, uh, pesticides are used to get rid of other insects and more often than not, these pesticides, they destroy the predatory uh, insects, which now means that uh, you won't have any predatory insects available to uh, destroy or to eat up the white flies. So we're going to talk about the use of pesticides. One thing you have to uh, note about white flies is the fact that white flies are resistant to a whole lot of pesticides. What do I mean by the fact that they are resistant? They are, resist they are resistant in the sense that application of both organic and inorganic pesticides does not get rid of them. As a matter of fact, many of the chemical pesticides, it doesn't do anything. Uh, if you ask me, I even think the white flies, when you spray with some of this, uh, chemical pesticides, it's like giving them like a juice to drink or it's like, I mean, they're having fun. They're having fun because when you spray these uh, chemical pesticides, you still see the white flies flying around, enjoying themselves. However, there is a very, very uh, potent uh, solution which actually involves the use of two active chemical ingredients instead of one. So basically, uh, it's a combination of two pesticides. In chemistry, when you combine two chemicals together, uh, you can either have an antagonistic mixture, in which case that mixture is less effective than the individual chemicals when they're used or you have a synergistic mixture. A synergistic mixture is a mixture whereby the uh, strength of both chemicals when mixed, it is much, much higher than the strength of uh, individual chemicals when you do not mix them together. So to get rid of white flies, uh, I found out that a combination of neem oil at a particular concentration and abacmectin, 18%, is the solution that allows you to effectively get rid of the adult white flies, the nymphs, and the eggs. This solution, I've used it several times and it is extremely potent. I prepare this mixture by using uh, neem oil at 10 ml per liter of water and abacmectin, I use 1 ml per liter of water as you can see on the screen. I mix this together, then uh, you have to put few drops of dishwashing soap uh, to allow the neem oil uh, to mix properly and I can tell you this is extremely effective as we're gonna see it destroys totally 
uh, the white flies and you will see for the very first time uh, dead white flies. It's very, very difficult to see white flies, uh, I mean, getting destroyed. I mean, they, they, they are almost indestructible. Uh, many of the uh, uh, chemical pesticides available does nothing to them, absolutely. The only thing that I found that is effective against them is this uh, chemical synergistic mixture of neem oil and abacmectin, 18% EC. All right, so we are ready to spray our mixture of neem oil with uh, abacmectin. Uh, the dosage I'm using once again is neem oil, uh, 10 ml per liter of water, abacmectin, 1 ml per liter of water. I always encourage everyone when you're spraying either fertilizers or pesticides, ensure you are well kitted up. Always protect yourself. Uh, that's the right way uh, uh, to apply fertilizers uh, or pesticides. All right, we're starting now. So we're spraying under the leaves. Make sure you spray under the leaves because that's where they're hiding. So spray under the leaves. You can see none of them is flying. And we'll check the results afterwards. Ensure you spray the underside of the leaves and the top as well. Very, very important. All right, these are the results of the spraying. You can see flies are dead. A whole lot of them are dead. One of the things you notice, once the white flies are dead, uh, their wings are open. Their wings are open. And that's what we're seeing here. They've all been destroyed. All the white flies have all been destroyed. Totally. They've all been destroyed. So this treatment is a very, very effective. Uh -huh. Look at the names. The names are gone. The names are the yellow ones there. They don't have wings, but you can see this one with the wings. The wings are open. They are all... They've all been destroyed. Totally been destroyed. So this is very, very effective. Very, very effective. So I recommend this as uh, the perfect solution uh, against to destroy white flies. This is the perfect solution. We're going to spray uh, a fungicide afterwards to treat uh, the sooty mold. So I recommend you spray a fungicide afterwards to get rid of the uh, sooty mold. So as you can see, the combination of neem oil and uh, abacmectin, 18% concentration, is very, very effective against white flies. Uh, for a whole lot of people, I mean, when I first applied this, that was the first time I would see uh, 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 white flies that are dead, that have been destroyed. I mean, I tried so many, many pesticides and it never worked. It never worked until I did a little more research and uh, some experiments. And I found out that this combination is very, very uh, fatal. It's very effective against uh, uh, white flies. So if you're having white flies in your, on, on your plants and, you know, uh, you don't have to wait because the more you wait or the more you try to use solutions that will not... Uh, uh, destroy them, the more their population increase, and I can tell you they will eventually uh, destroy your uh, they'll destroy your trees. So I'll encourage you uh, to uh, try out this method. Anytime you see symptoms uh, of a white flies, do not wait for them to uh, multiply, uh, so you can so that they do not uh, destroy your trees. For uh, people that are just uh, new to my channel, I'll be bringing up more uh, uh, tips and uh, information for gardeners, for enthusiasts, for people that have plants, I mean for everybody. So kindly subscribe to my channel uh, to get more uh, useful uh, information regarding gardening and plants. Thank you very much.